Please wait for the microphones. Uh, questions for Giancarlo Stanton? Sweeney in the front row. Giancarlo, you've talked before about how much more comfortable you feel when you face pitchers a number of times. You have a good bit of history um, with these guys. How do you approach the, you know, the three starters that you're going to see here? Um, you just uh, you, you see the way they've approached me in the past. Um, so when they've had success, not had success, and really just the team approach that the Astros have. Um, and then, then I build my plan from there. So you, you do your homework and um, create the plan for uh, the series, the game. I mean, uh, you gotta got to be ready for adjustments too. After mid at bat, next, you know, second half of the, the game, just got to be ready. Far right. Gene Carlo, when you look at the, uh, the Astros, their offense, their, uh, their starters and their relievers. If you, in your opinion, would you agree that the bullpen of Houston seems to be the weak point, the, the thing that perhaps your offense can exploit more easily than their starting rotation? Um, I mean, uh, any team with uh, over 100 wins, you know, there's very uh, minimal weak points, but uh, you know, you, you just got to chip away, ha have good at-bats versus whoever's out there. Um, if, you, if you don't take care of who's out there now, you're not going to get to the bullpen. And if you say the starters are weak, then you, you still got to battle um, and get through them. So uh, we, we go one at a time. Stay here on the right. Carl, you got with this team right after the 2017 ALCS, and that was a first playoff experience for Judge and Sanchez and several others. You've been around those guys for a couple of seasons now. How have you seen those guys grow and maybe be better prepared now for a situation like this? Yeah, I mean, it's experience. You, you go through it once, um, you go through it twice, uh, and then, and especially for those guys that, that did it here and lost here, uh, you know, I feel, feel there's extra motivation and um, just uh, critique little things uh, they could have done better, and the same thing for um, uh, how last year went. You know, it's uh, little adjustments. You, you know um, what you could have done to, uh, you know, have a better turnout, and, and you go out there with what you got. On the left, Andy. How, how do you approach a, a pitcher like Cole and Verlander, for example, where they had that high 90s fastball and that great breaking ball? How, what plan are you going in a bat with? Are you, do you have to be ready for the fastball and then react to the breaking ball? Well, I can't give you my complete plan. I could try to ask. Uh, yeah, you just got to look for, look for a good pitch to hit. They're going to give you a good pitch. Um, you know, you, but you may just get one, and then and then they go to 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 their plan, their their uh, the the way they get they've gotten all those punch outs. So, um, you know, you just got to stay in your zone. Um, you know, try not to chase, and um, it's really stay in your zone. I mean, they're they're gonna they're gonna pick, they're gonna throw uh, one to two balls uh, outside the strike zone, and see if you'll chase. And if you will, they're gonna keep keep doing it. So, um, you know, we got to have our plan and. Um, you know, have, have a better one than they do. Anything else? We're good? Okay, Jeff, thank cool. you.